just to dryly copy something that's already there as in a still life or something doesn't really interest me anymore. And I want, the fun for me is making up the image uh, and, you know, ex, you know, finding the fantasy in the image and, and executing it uh, kind of out of my head. And that, to me, is the, the, the mystery and the fun of it. Um, although I do work from life sometimes, I always try to change the image so that it looks uh, like something a little bit different, you know. And there's always an element of fantasy or abstraction in the work that isn't just straight realism, although it is all recognizable objects and it's figurative in that sense. So. I work almost exclusively in acrylics because when I uh, taught for, uh, you know, a long time and uh, getting home from work and so on and I had a couple hours to paint and it was like having two jobs and I really couldn't, I was too impatient to wait for oils to dry. So. <laughs> The beauty of an acrylic is you can do a background like this and, uh, you know, uh, put a hair dryer on it and it can be done in an hour and dry and ready to apply another coat. Whereas with an oil painting, I might wait another day or two till that paint film dries in order enough to do, to do any more work with it. So I like fantasy. I like nature a lot. Uh, a lot of my paintings have a lot of water in them. I, uh, I enjoy painting the human figure. I like the mystery of deep woods and uh, old ruins, and maybe this goes back to my childhood or something, you know, exploring my grandfather's barn or something, but I like the mystery of looking around in a place to see what I might find, and that's, I think, to a large degree what I'm trying to do in my work, is bring back that feeling of, you know, mystery and, uh, you know, kind of childlike searching for, uh, you know, whatever strange thing you might find. One of the problems with being a painter is that you're selling a high ticket item. And one of my hopes for the gallery is, and one of my hopes personally, is to think about getting uh, getting myself a large printer and, uh, you know, large form, real large format printer and uh, being able to sell, you know, prints of my paintings for, you know, less, less money, obviously. And, and, uh, I think, you know, if you take a $500 item and take it down to a $25 or $50 item that, you know, on paper that you all suddenly have expanded your market a great deal. And if we only get orders for three, then we only have to make three. There is not an initial investment that prohibits you getting into the print market, which I think is something that I want to pursue personally, and I think the gallery should too. I think the more you can mass sell, the better off we'll all be. <laughs> Yeah. You know.